We start today's episode with me not being in a very good mood at all. I don't know how to explain this. I I honestly don't know what has caused this, what's happened. I've just had to sit through all this before recording this. I've had to play all these games and just sit through it. I I can't. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go through things one by one. Last time you were here, it was a great episode. We're off the back of a, a nine-game winning streak in the Premier League, basically top of the league. We just beat Liverpool two-one in the biggest test of the season so far. At that point, I said right. You know, Champions League is ours. Potentially Champions of the Premier League if we carry on like this, but Champions League is ours. And then we played Southampton, and we lost two one. And a fair play, Southampton were slightly better than us. It was it was unlucky on the grounds that both of their goals were flukes. One of them, allow her put a, a back pass and it was dodgy, and the other one came like it was pinging around the box from a corner. It went in the back of the net. Their goalkeeper was an absolute insane form as well. We should have had at least four or five goals. Um, so we're unlucky really in that game. So fair play. The bit of good news is that we beat Stavrone 6-2. That was a, an alright result, I've got to say. You know, decent. We'll take that. Moralha scored a hat-trick, and that is a player I've been waiting for. That's what I've been expecting from him since we signed him. I thought he was going to arrive in that game. That's when he'd arrived, and I thought from then on in, he was going to be amazing. But, um, well, you can see it's not. West Brom was the uh, first game of ours, which was a bit of an issue. We were pretty poor, I've got to say. Um, but I say that, West Brom scored. With two shots on target. They had two shots on target the entire game. Scored them both. And this isn't the first time it's happened either. Not the first time it's happened. We then played Crystal Palace and uh, lost 4-2. You know, pretty poor, I've got to say. Not the best result. We conceded four goals. That is really bad, to be fair. So, poor stuff. We then played Napoli, who again, scored two goals with their two shots on target. Which, honestly, at that point, pissed me off so much with Nicky Reynolds. To the fact that I nearly terminated his contract... Um, and he was kicked out of the squad. Barry Scherzer played the next game against Man City, who made us look like fools. Um, so how we scored two goals, I don't know, because Man City dominated us completely. And then we played Burnley, who was sitting 19th in the table, and we lost 3-1. And Brian Brewster, not once, but twice, just rounded Barry Scherzer like it was nothing. Our, our defence is... These two games, the defence has been awful. The previous few games, my blame lies on us... Not making the most of our chances. Because we create a lot of chances still. We're creating the chances. Just our strikers aren't on form. And a lot of his game, Ricky Reynolds, has been absolutely awful. So, in my opinion, January comes around pretty soon. We have to get new goalkeepers. We have to. So, what does that mean to the table? Well, we've, we've dropped down to fourth. We were two points clear. We're now nine points behind. Class. Classic that. We were ten points clear of fifth as well. But now we're only two points clear. So... Potentially, we're maybe knocking out a Champions League at some point soon if we don't turn things around. So obviously, bad defeats. Something's got to change. Um, so we're changing things tactically for the game against Zolt Ragram today. Now, you're going to look at this and think, what the hell are you doing? This does not make sense. And I'm with you. I, 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 I don't know why we're doing this formation. However, if you're in the Discord server, there's a link in the description if you're not in it. If you're in the Discord server... There's been people in here telling me to use formation for ages, and I've been reluctant to. You'll see why, but a lot of games lost now. I think we're going to try and use it and see if it works. So this is it. This is the formation I've been told to use, um, and apparently it works wonders. But, I mean, I'm not, I'm not seeing it myself. I'm really not seeing it myself right now. I mean, two defenders, really? A four midfield, basically, and, and four in the front, you know? It's a 4-4-2, but backwards, in my opinion, and it scares me to death, this. It scares me to death, but I've been told to use it, so I'm going to. Barry Scherzer stays in goal for now, until we find someone else in January. Uh, Patino and Benteke, centre-backs. But Chalk and Gomez can sort of play wing-backs, so they're playing those positions today with Jalapeno and Mertens in the middle. Jalapeno has been subject to a lot of interest in Bayern Munich, so he may go in January. Depends how much they offer. He's valued at £41 million. So if they offer 70 million plus, I think you may go. Diaz starts as a Trek with Tista in today's game with Hammer Time and Jimenez as complete forwards and Mark Hall starting as an advanced forward. Now, if you saw on Twitter earlier, I put screenshots up. Um, watch me now not put the screenshots up or something like that. But Hammer Time is one of the favourites to win World Player of the Year and Mark Hall is one of the favourite players to win European Golden Boys. So interesting stuff that. If they win it, that'll be good, obviously. But right now, six losses or five losses, whatever it is in a row, I don't care. 
Right, this is either going to go really well, or it's going to go absolutely terribly, and I'm going to be even in a worse mood than I was before. Yep, good start to the game, that. Good start to the game. 23 seconds. I mean, we literally pulled one back. I was, I still have my head in my hands, and then I look up, and we, him and Ed gets another one. So, uh, mixed start, I've got to say. A very, very mixed start. I just want to like win a game five nil to make me feel confident again in the boys, but I, I don't understand what's I don't I just don't understand. We're using the exact same players, the exact same formation, the exact same instructions as we did for those first nine games of a season when we were untouchable. We haven't changed anything. N nothing has changed, and then all of a sudden, bam, we are out of it, destroyed, losing games left, right, and centre. Can't can't. Buy a win. What is going on? Early indications of his formation, though, are looking good. Nine shots to their one shot. I mean, that's something, I've got to say. I would have thought they had more shots with only two defenders, basically. But we're doing okay right now. Um, they, we do lose possession now, though, as Noel comes forward. Uh, and Zort Wildgrim coming forward again. But we've uh, we've got the ball back now. And Jimenez with a chance. There's three strikers now to play with. That's pretty nice, I've got to say. Three strikers on the pitch at the same time. I like that. That fills with confidence up front. Um, I'm, I'm just not filled with confidence in the back, though. But it doesn't matter because Mark Hall has gone and scored. It's 2-1. It's We're winning a game. Oh, my God. We are winning a game. You're probably laughing at me right now. But honestly, honestly, this is huge. We have not been winning a game for a long time, I've got to say. Now, the goalkeeper issue. Barish Urza and Nicky Reynolds. We stopped playing Barish Urza on the grounds that he just kept conceding goals literally two, three, four minutes into the game. He's proven that today. He's conceded in the in the 26th second. Uh, in the Man City game, he conceded in the first or second minute. He concedes goals so easily early on. He just doesn't switch on. So that's why we changed to Nicky Reynolds. The issue with Nicky Reynolds is he's just rubbish now. He's really poor, uh, concedes lots of goals. So it's either have a goalkeeper that concedes lots of goals or have a goalkeeper that concedes goals really early on in the game then start to play well. It's it's just annoying me. It's I don't understand what to do other than get a new goalkeeper. Of course, we've got Man United after this game. Um, do I want to play this formation against Man United? If I'm being honest with you, we've got nothing to lose. So if we win today, we, we might as well. We might as well. When I finished recording last episode, I fully expected us to come to the A's game against United thinking, who wins this is going to go top of the table. But now, it's it's not that, obviously, because we've, we've dropped down to fourth. It's difficult, because if you told me at the start of the season, we'd be fourth at this point in the season, I would bite your hand off. I'd be over the moon with it. However... It's because of the way things transpired as Mark Hall gets another goal this game. Fantastic stuff from him. Because, obviously, we had such a great start to the season. Now, suddenly, we've lost so many games on the trot. It does really, really annoy me. And I just feel like we're wasting away this season now. I, I just don't know what to do about it. Right, both Pachulk and Gomez are looking tired. Can Ferreira... He, he plays a bit better, actually. Masovic is he's all right. We'll make those two changes, though. Perhaps that may help us a little bit out. Um, swapping those wing backs around gives a bit more energy down the wings. Ferreira instantly goes down to like 77 condition. Uh, must have taken a knock just as he came on the pitch or something. Must have like hit his head on the, uh, the the dugout or something like that. I don't know. As you can see, by the way, I've, I've sort of brushed over this. We have we have qualified from our group. This is the last group stage match, of course. Uh, us and Zult have qualified, so um, I don't know why I, that really comes to my attention before. I should have told you that earlier. We have qualified, and as you can see, we're confirming it today with a big win as Mark Hall picked up his hat trick. He's been shit this season. I'm not going to lie to you. He's been rubbish. Today, he decided to turn on his style and score goals. So, the fair play to him. Well done. Oh, a penalty. A penalty has apparently been awarded. Um, Hammer Time's the one taking it, but should we let Mark Hall? Let, no, let's get Hammer Time. He needs some more goals, doesn't he? He's not scored today. I think he's got a hat-trick already. So we'll let Hammer Time take it. Uh, Mark Hall has scored penalties this season, I've got to say, when he's been playing games. So I, I do trust him again to take penalties. But at the same time, I'm never, ever going to forgive him for that Europa League final. Hammer Time scores, makes it 5-1 to finish the game off. Do we play this formation against Man United? Do we? I mean, good, good win there, boys. Well done. We've somehow won a game there. I mean... Maybe it's just a formation that we need to change. Gomez is out for a few days, so he's going to miss the game against United. Jeez. Um, we've achieved first in our group, half a million. Thank you very much. Hall scores three. Brilliant stuff. Right. Do we do we stick with this? Again, you know, I don't know. Do we? To be fair, we've got nothing to lose, have we? So, I, I genuinely think we may stick with it because we've got nothing to lose. 
It's not like we're going to beat Man United. Oh, I got asked after that as well. Jesus Christ, I didn't realise that. I'll tell you what, Shrimp it was a three-game special. A three-game special episode. Because um, we've got Arsenal and Man United there. So we may as well do them all. Because they're first and second. We may as well do it. Let's just do it. Come on. I honestly cannot believe we're about to play with formation against Man United. But um, the only change we're making is Gomez comes off because he's slightly injured and Ferreira comes on. That's the only change we're making. Can I just say, good luck. Just try your best out there. We're going to go assertive. We're going to go... Um, can I just... I just want to say, pick up from last time. Pick up from last time. Everyone's happy. Come on. Come on! Well, here comes the first highlight of the game. Diaz, big interception. Well done, mate. But they've, they've made an equally big interception now. Man United with a chance to come forward. Darbico is probably the wrong way to say it, but I like to say it, that little accent because it's, it's probably not in Italian or French. I, I mean, I, I don't know what accent that was, but I like saying it. Risky play there from our goalkeeper, and the, the clearance was poor. Gelson comes forward, and 1-0. Uh, the onslaught begins. Oh, please. I, I don't want to lose, really. Um, why, why did I decide this was a good formation to play against United? Please tell me again why I decided this was a good formation. Also, once again, another example of Barish Urza conceding very, very early on in a game, which really, really annoys me. Jalapeno now on the ball. Can he do something? It's a risky ball to Patino, I'm not going to lie. Risky ball, but it, it comes off in the end. He's back on the ball now. Can we get it out wide? Ferreira, Ferreira. Trying to come forward now down the wing, but can't really. He's got past his man, to be fair. Come on, lad. Get it in the box. In the box. <sighs> Mark Hall, not far off. Decent. Come on. Out of nowhere, four shots. Literally, where they come from. I'm not even going to lie to you. This is the best performance in the Premier League we've had for a long. Perhaps this formation is it. Perhaps this is the formation we need to be using now. It looks ridiculous. It looks stupid, but somehow, somehow, it's well, it's not working because we're losing, aren't we? And now they're coming forward again. But it's the best performance we've had in the Premier League since last episode. So, it, to me, it feels like it's working. It's really perked me up a little bit now. Barish Urza, please do something good with this ball because I know that you rubbish sometimes with your distribution. That was rubbish there. <laughs> please, no, Patino, brilliant. Oh, Jalapeno, not so brilliant. Come on. Gelson now with the ball, puts it in the area. DeMarco over the bar. We're still only just losing. We're still only just losing. We're better than them. We are better. Than, this is the first time I've been saying this for ages. The first time I can say we've probably been better than the side. Oh, Benteke, you are a beautiful man. It is what... I'm, how? How does this... I don't understand how this formation works. I don't... Under, I can understand how it works attacking-wise. We've got four strikers, basically. I do not understand how it works defensively. For whatever reason, though, we've only conceded one goal, and that is the best performance we've had in the Premier League in terms of goals conceded since the Liverpool game. So, make of that what you will. I don't really want to change anything, but I, I know we're going to have to, um, because well, we, we do have to, because players are going to have to be rested for the Arsenal game, unless we play tired players, of course. Masovic is going to come on for Pachok, because Pachok's not played very well, and he's also on a yellow card. Um, and I'd, I'd kind of like to bring oh, Thingamajig, he's not on the bench Whatever he's called, the Corinthius, he's not on the bench why, why is he not on the bench? I don't know Why have we got two wingers on the bench? We're not using wingers Both on the right as well, that's even more stupid um, Pandolfi can come on then For Jalapeno, I've got to say we'll, we'll bring him on, see what he can do Just try Please boys, we're doing well Man City just gone 2-1 up, so now we're down to 5th if we grab a goal here against United, that changes everything. Uh, it looks like United, though, are coming forward with the ball now. Um, Paxio into... And, uh, oof, that was close, I've got to say. Come on, boys. Keep focused. Still the side on top. Barish Urza, free kick. Punts up towards Jimenez. Will he win it? He, he somehow does. Mertens now coming forward into Pandolfi. Pandolfi out to Masovic. What a ball. Get that in the box, son. Hall. He's done it. How? How is this formation working? How? Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm bloody delighted that it is. I, I just cannot understand how a formation with only two central defenders is working. I mean, I, I'm speechless. I'm genuinely speechless. If we win this game, I am speechless. Jimenez now coming forward. Puts a great ball through to Mark Hall. Go on, son. Unlucky. Unlucky. But we're winning. It's okay. It's okay. We, we've, we've actually done it. We have beaten Manchester. We've ended a run of five or six games in defeat against some piss poor sides, I've got to say. We, I don't understand. Do not understand. That was special. No one gave us a chance. You've been magnificent out there. Brahim Diaz was rubbish, 6.4, but everyone else played their part. We're back into third. We've, <laughs> we've ended this one, two, three, five Premier League defeats in a row to 
poor sides apart from Man City, I've got to say. Burnley sitting in 19th from the table at the time. We come up against Manchester United, the current reigning champions of Europe, and we beat them 2-1 using the formation with only two central defenders. Arsenal, I cannot wait to play you. Come on, boys. Oh, the draw for the Euro Cup first knockout round is here as well. Um, so there's a, a lot of teams in this. It's seeded, I think, isn't it? Or is it not? Um, I just don't think we can play Man City, basically. I think actually that's it. And Southampton and Tottenham also. Uh, so we'll draw these teams pretty quickly. We'll go through. I don't really mind who we get too much. I'm pretty confident that we can get through. We've got Shakhtar Donetsk. Now, they're probably actually one of the more better sides in this competition saying that but you know you know what i i'm pretty sure we can take shakhtar in february we've got a long time a little wait for it but shakhtar i'm confident they've been bad form so are we but they're slightly worse form because we've won our last two games they haven't oh tottenham want me to have a job well screw you tottenham i'm not going to you i'm linking till i die and this new formation is what i am till i die right not a single change to the lineup not a single one we're keeping it exactly as it was, it's working. It's worked in the past two games. We beat Man United with this formation. If it works against Arsenal, then I apologise to the people in the Discord. I mean, I already have done, but I apologise for not using it sooner. And I, I mean, I, I feel like I need to say something else, but I don't know. So I'll think of something. Right, early chance with Ferreira coming forwards. <laughs> Jimenez, 18 seconds into the game. 1-0. I, I am in love with this formation. I am in love. I mean, it's a highlight driven kickoff, uh, which does mean that the token early goal conceded by um, Bacholk is coming. Bacholk, but yeah, there we go. The, the token early goal conceded by Barish Urza is coming, and there it is. Um, as I say, he, he can't he can't play a game without conceding within the first six minutes or so. He just can't. It's just it's just weird. Uh, Arsenal coming forward again, but Bacholk makes a decent interception there, but his clearance is. Awfully, awfully poor. Now I've got all the work to do once again, try and defend. Lorenzo has been put forward too easily and Rodriguez unmarked. That's probably why two defenders doesn't work. That's That that has been my worry. Why does two defenders work against Man United? It shouldn't have done. And it clearly isn't working too well against Arsenal right now. Caller now for us. Mertens puts it into the area. Patino, open header, misses it. He's cleared as well, but I think it was going off target anyway. And now Arsenal can counter-attack. They've got... They've got four men forward and we've only got the two back. And luckily, someone was there to make the clearance. But this is what I was scared about. The two central defenders, that scares me an awful lot. And while it did work again in the last two games, it's clearly not working today. All right, throw in for us now. We've got another chance to come forward. Mertens to Jalapeno. A lot of men in the area and he decides to shoot from a bit of a, an acute angle with no real chance of scoring. I don't know why he did that. He should have passed it, really. Um, and of course, the wing backs sort of mean that there's no huge amount of cover at, on the wings, basically. At least there wasn't there in that little attack. But we're coming forward again with the ball now. Jimenez plays it through to Mark Hall. He holds it up, plays it out to Ferreira in so much space. The ball's put in, hits the crossbar. Mark Hall on the rebound, makes it 3 2. This is an exciting game. Now, Jimenez has apparently just taken a knock, uh, which ugh, Lorenzo scores a fourth. He's taken a knock, which does beg the question we've only got three strikers, so what happens now? Uh, in this formation. What happens now? I mean, it's been an evenly matched game, a very evenly matched game on the stats. I think it's probably just because we've been, I say unlucky, it's, it's, it's because we've only got two central defenders. That is why it's not working so much. Patino makes a clearance, but Cholp gets it out properly. Now Jimenez with a chance to come forward up to Hall. Hall now gets through to Hammer Time. Hammer Time, we know he's clinical, misses. Diaz misses. <sighs> come on. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's It's been a pretty pretty good game we owe Arsenal after last game we'll say it assertively though that worked last time against United hopefully it will work against Arsenal today and we'll score a few goals or something like that a win would be huge it would take us to 31 points again which is delightful in my opinion that would be really good it would put us back on track um, for Champions League at least it gives us a bit more breathing room as well to get Man City um, at the same time though I, I mean I feel like those losses have put us way too far off Arsenal now to win a title this season I think that's off the cards it was on the card slightly at the start of the season when we did so well, but we knew a collapse could happen at some point or we'd have a few losses in the end and we'd eventually succumb to Arsenal or Man United. But we didn't think it would happen so dramatically. As Diaz makes it 4-3. Come on, there's still hope in this game. It was a whole second half. Come on. Corner now, Mertens puts it in. Benteke unmarked. Literally carbon copy of the goal against Man United. And all of a sudden, it's 4 all. It's f <sighs> 4 all. I mean, I was about to say, how is this formation working? It's working attacking-wise. It's not working defensively this game. We have conceded four goals, but we have scored four. So it's 
it swings and roundabouts. I don't really want to change anything because it's working quite well. Um, I, th I thought that was Jimenez being injured then. Hammer Time's taken a knock as well now. He's also down to 50% condition, but is slowly, slowly getting better. Do we do we make changes to the wing backs? Do we do that? Do we change Bacholk again for Masovic? Get us a bit more width and, and pace down the wings? Um, I, I forgot to change the substitutes again. That was stupid of me. I meant to change those. I forgot. Um, I think Patino comes up as well because he's not played too well. Reg Ragui is... I uh, still don't know how you say it, but I think that's the easiest way for me to say it. Reg Ragui comes on. He's not played too many times. He's more of a backup, like I said he was going to be. Uh, but when he has played, he's played well. Mark Cole with a free kick. Come on. Cleared away. Um, and now here they come, Arsenal, on the counter-attack. Isaac, though, sort of on his own, but it does skip past men. Pellegrini's open in so much space. Had so much time, but his shot was very, very poor. Come on, boys. Let's get a 90-minute winner. I don't want to change the formation. We don't have another striker. Um, some, maybe Shaylon can play there. Perhaps. Can Shaylon? He's not on the bench, bloody hell. I keep forgetting this kind of stuff. All right, Diaz can play up front, but he's going to be like a false nine, I think. Uh, which then means Jalapeno is going to have to come up there. I'm going to bring Crazy Eyes on there. Uh, and that that can that should work, I think. Can can Jalapeno play up front? He, he actually can. Jeez, he actually can. As a complete forward as well. Wow. That shouldn't have excited him as much as it did, but it, it has done there. Um, so that would make that change in a moment. We've got a chance now. Masovic into Hall. Hammer time. Hammer time. So close. Get a winner. If you get a winner, I will kiss every single one of you. I, I mean, it's hard because you're in a computer game. Um and none of you actually exist. Diaz exists in real life, I've got to say. He's a real player. Um, no one else is, I don't think, actually, which which makes things hard. But if we score now, I will kiss Diaz. Hall coming forward in literally the final moment of the game. It's cleared away. That's going to be, I think, 4 all unless Isaac scores a goal now. Tackled. Tackled again. Oh, God. The, I swear, if they score. Okay, 4 on 1. It's not happened. 4 all when is how it's finished. And to be fair, as we're 4 2 down at half time, I will take that all day long what an improvement in results you were, i'm gonna say you were unlucky tonight you were you were unlucky out there boys every single one of you unlucky this has been an emotional roller coaster tonight i am drained literally i am drained uh hammer time and jimenez both injured but only for a few days which is okay how i mean i literally started playing the southampton game and i was depressed by the time we got to start rec this recording and these three games have changed that completely this for this formation, copy it now. Every single one of you, screenshot and copy this now. Wow. Right, next episode then is going to be Chelsea and Stoke. It's going to be sort of the midpoint between the, the next Euro Cup games and things like that. And it's also in January where we can make some more signings. Hopefully a goalkeeper, so uh, join me for that. If you've enjoyed today's episode, then make sure you do drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And also, buy one of these t-shirts. Link in the description as well. They're, they're still for sale, so get one while you can. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I will see you tomorrow or next time or whenever for some more Lincoln Loco action. <laughs>